Hello students. So let's try to solve one problem from CSIR net uh, 2021. And uh, this is from the classical mechanics and the topic is action angle uh, principle or uh, just we can, uh, and in this problem, what is given, the potential is given and it is one dimensional potential that Vx is equal to A, where A is constant mod X. If this is our potential and particle have some periodic motion, and then this time period of a period, a time period of this particular motion is proportional to e to the power alpha. Then we have to find the value of alpha. So this is a very wonderful question. And first, let's see how we can approach it. So we know that action angle variable j is given by integral of p dx where P is uh, momentum and X is position. And this is about, all about the complete uh, closed curve or for the one particular period of motion. And if we will see this particular potential, then this potential Vx is equal to A mod X. And this is basically something like this. So this is my Vx versus X. And uh, if we are going to plot the phase curve for some value of energy, then this phase curve is bounded something like this. And this value is equal to root under 2me. Here y axis we have momentum and x axis we have position. And this value is equal to e upon a. So this is our turning point. This value is minus e upon a. And this value is equal to minus root under 2me. So how you will draw, draw this particular phase curve? So very simple. You will just take a total value of energy. And this energy is equal to px square upon 2m. Or you can tell p square by 2m plus a mod x. So now we can easily put all these coordinates. And these are turning points also. So particularly start here, go to there, and again, it will come back. Okay, so this is the whole condition. Now, if we have this particular J, and if we will calculate this J, then this J will be actually function of energy. And once we will calculate this J as a function of energy, then obviously the time period is given by del J upon del so this is time period but here we have to talk about proportionality so we have to uh, do this question in a very smart way so let's try to calculate this particular area so if we are going to calculate j that is pdx that is nothing but the area under the curve so i am just going to plan that if we are going to calculate this area and we are multiply with the four then obviously the uh, we will get the complete area. So I am just going to calculate this area and I will multiply it by 4. So what is my j? So my j is equal to integral and this is complete curve that is p is equal to root under 2m e minus a mod x into dx. So this is our j. When we will open it then this value is equal to we can go for 0 to e upon a and root under 2m e minus ax because in this region the x is positive so vx is equal to also positive we know the all property of mod x so we can easily calculate this particular thing and we can multiply with 4 so there is not any need to calculate this particular integration because we have to talk each and everything in form of proportionality, in form of proportional. So what we will do, we will just try to make this whole integral dimensionless and independent of E. And then we can put all the other thing as a constant and we have relationship between J and E. So the whole idea is how we are getting the relationship between J versus E. So let's see this particular thing. So we have J is equal to, we will take root under 2me common and this j is equal to 4 into root under 2me common. So this integration is 0 to e by a and this value is 1 minus a by e into x root under 
dx. And what we will do, we will just put a upon e into x is equal to t such that when x is equal to 0, t is equal to 0 and x is equal to e by a, t is equal to 1. So, and from here we can get dx is equal to e by a into dt. So, what will happen? We will get this particular j as 4 into root under 2me into e upon a and we will go for integration 0 to 1 root under 1 minus t dt. So, this is the whole story. You can just look at like this. So, this is the whole story. Now, you can assume this will be some constant. So, I am I am just only interested into j versus e. So, here I can write j is equal to, so here I can write j is equal to some constant, let's say this 4 root under 2m a and all this thing, this integral will treat it as a some constant k e to the power 1 by 2 into e, so that is 3 by 2. So, j is equal to k e to the power 3 by 2. Now, we will use this formula, then time period is equal to del j upon del e and this value is equal to or this is proportional to e to the power half. So, from here, so time period is proportional to e to the power alpha is equal to e to the power half. So, alpha is equal to half. So, for this particular problem, alpha is equal to half. So, whenever the question will ask in term of proportionality, don't bother about integration. Just try to make the integral dimensionless and you can easily analytically solve this particular problem. Thank you.